Uh, so remember on Friday that was a little a little um, a little here that with the queue. Remember the uh, that uh, I couldn't find a way to create a dead queue, a dead letter queue. Remember? Yes. Remember, guys. Okay. So uh, let me see. I don't have any queues here. No queues. No queues. Uh, no queues. All right. So um, what, I'm gonna create a dead letter queue. Okay. So a dead letter queue is just a, a queue. Okay, so I can say here my dead letter Q. Okay, and then a standard Q, right? And that's it. So configure the Q, nothing to configure here. Okay, so I create the Q. Okay, that's my, my dead letter Q, right? Now I create another Q and I name it. Okay, if the dead letter Q it's a standard one, the Q, the other one, the normal one has to be standard. It cannot be a FIFO, it can be a standard. So I create another Q say my main Q. Okay, it has to be standard, they have to match. And then here I can configure the Q and say read drive and then I can say here my the letter Q, okay? And after three times, after three times that the, it's consumed and it's not processed, then all the messages are gonna go to the letter, the letter Q. Remember, we said that the, the letter Q is for messages that are not processed, okay? So it's gonna tend to pull the, the, uh, the messages three times. And after that, automatically, all the messages are gonna go to the, my dead letter Q, my dead letter Q. So I'm gonna create the Q and then I have the main Q here. Right, so I'm gonna create a message here. I'm gonna create a message. Okay, send the message. Okay, this is my message. Right, I'm gonna send the message. Send another message. I'm gonna say message two. Send another message. Now we'll say message three. Okay, and then I close it. See, I have three messages here. Okay, so I can do here come to um, view the message. Okay, so I can view the message here, start polling uh, messages. You see, I pull the message receive one. It was received one time. Okay, so it's, it's just progressing here. It's receiving the message. Okay. This is the first time after I have done this three times, it's gonna go to the dead letter queue automatically. It means that this is just a demo, right? It means that the message is being pulled, but it's not being processed, okay? Because I don't have anyone processing. I'm gonna start pulling my message again. So this is the second time, okay? Let's say that this is a consumer pulling, trying to get the, the, the to process the message. And let's see this message as probably um, like an order, okay? In a retail store, all right. So it's consuming the message, you know, it's taking some time, you know. Now I'm gonna pull this again, start pulling. Boom, this is the third time. So I'm just re, re driving this again and then trying to process again i'm gonna try three i'm trying three times right to process this this is the third time that i come and process this because i don't know for some reason it's not processable i don't know why that will be my question if i don't know i don't know why so i'm trying to process this again okay so i'm gonna pull it again good gone it's gone so three times I tried to process that. And then if I check, that, let's wait for this to get to 100. If I just check, I can stop it here if I want to. I can stop here. Let, let's just let, let it uh, get to 100. Okay. Okay, so 
right now, you see here, but if I refresh, you see, they were moved to the dead letter queue. So this, this is what happens when messages are not processed. You can create a dead letter queue and then they will be placed here after the retries. So the 30 seconds for available visibility timeout. So guys, do you have any other questions? No questions? Not really. Okay. Of course, this is just uh, like isolated here. You know, this is going to work with other services, right? But this is basically what happens behind the scene when one consumer, one component tries to consume one uh, message in a queue, okay? But the message is nothing else than a task, okay? And this is what happens when the task is not processable after whatever number you set when you create your queue, okay? So it will be placed here. You don't lose it, right? It's still there, okay? And then you can have some mechanism to put this back here and process it again, just in case you want to uh, process that. So I'm going to stop the live, uh, you know, streaming.